Hello and welcome to another update video about ICP. So the price um, likely topped there in this wave one or A wave, um, as we discussed in previous videos. Um, reasons why it might have topped there in wave one or A already is, or one reason is, because we can already count five waves to the upside. And then because it broke basically too low for any reliable extension. I mean, we can say that, okay, it never broke below the 78.6 retracement, but still, um, it, it's, it seems complete up there. Okay, of course, it could continue upwards from here, yeah, because um, it hasn't broken below the wave four low here, which was formed on the 21st of December. But I'm at a point where I would say it needs to prove that to me. I mean, you know, anybody who's looking for long positions, I can only say, we are here in a in a support region. The price already dipped from the highs, you know, round about 42%. But I wouldn't call that a reliable long trade setup from here. Now, if you like to find positions close to previous swing lows, I mean, that might be something for you here. Yeah, I think we might see a bounce from here and I'll tell you in a minute why, but is it the next rally already or do we just see a B wave rally which could then take us down basically forming here something like a head and shoulders pattern okay that's that's an option um what i can say is so far from the high we've seen three waves down so the overall impression it makes it looks corrective overall okay so i've got three waves down now let me explain how i see this correction now um, if we assume this is a B wave pullback or a wave two, then it should ideally get to at least 832, better would be 677. That's in this scenario likely. Um, it appears, however, that an ABC structure is complete or nearly complete. So that, that makes me wonder, okay, is it already done? Is this pullback already done now for a wave two or B wave to, you know, to call that complete? I don't think so. But what could happen is that this is only the first ABC structure of a larger ABC. Okay, so ABC forms wave A. We then see wave B and then five wave move down in C. This is what I would see at the moment as my primary scenario if you ask me about the microstructure. Um, obviously, the parameters haven't changed. They are still clear. The support region is between 8.32 and 4.10. As long as we're holding the $4.10 level, the overall focus, in my opinion, can be on higher prices. Um, and the closer we get to that level, the better the reward to risk ratio for any long positions. At the moment, we are not even in that support area. So, yeah. It, it, it hasn't reached that support area. It was still quite far away from it. So to get more clarity, I'd like to see that deep pullback. Now, however, from here, because we have basically an ABC structure complete or nearly complete, I mean, can always get another low, right? Um, I think a B wave bounce is likely. And then if we see a break below that neckline, then we have a perfect head and shoulders pattern, as I mentioned, yeah? So, um... Whereas if we see a break above the last high, which formed here around $16.30, well, then I have to take the perspective that wave one never finished, but that would only be my alternative for now. And then we would see direct extensions higher, but it would have to be a diagonal. One, two, three, four, five. But that would be a huge extension and it's nothing I am primarily watching for right now. Yeah. So what would be resistance? I mean, standard resistance for a B wave is between 11.73 and 14.51. That's standard resistance. I have to say though, there is at the moment not really any clear evidence that this B wave has started. It's also possible that we are getting one more low in wave C, even though I have to say this looks pretty much complete. One, two, three, four, five. It's a little bit too short, though, the entire C wave, if we compare it with the A wave. Now, not to a degree that it would be invalidated or anything, um, 
But typically, I'd like to see a C. If, you know, had it reached the 100% extension at $9.02, I'd be happy. It only reached $9.50. So it's just a little bit off. But sometimes they do that, you know. Obviously, they are to a degree influenced by Bitcoin. So that's what I can say at the moment. I don't think we've seen the overall low yet, at least not in that B wave or wave 2. Maybe we've seen a local low. Uh, and if we see an extension higher, it would need to prove that to me. Uh, I would only really take that seriously if we get a break above the standard resistance at 1451. But I would say the likelihood is quite high that there is a bounce somewhere from this region, at least in a B wave. Um, and then we will need to look at the structure. And if there is a reaction in the resistance area, then we can calculate a target for the C wave to the downside. But I see the potential head and shoulders pattern here. At the moment, the market could still avoid that, you know, it break to the downside, but I think it's getting a pretty obvious head and shoulders. Yeah, that's my update. What I can see right now on the ICP chart. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also, make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.